Hello everyone, this is JD Calderon and this is Indie Comics Explained and today I'm taking taking a look at some books and some toys or some statues and some toys and I'm going to be unboxing something I just got in the mail from Kickstarter. So the three f books you see in front of you are from my avatar pile, I'm still reading through those. It's got Mercury Heat by Karen Gillan, Omar Frank, Sia, and... Noel Lopez, and then we have The Chronicles of Wormwood. This is the second volume by Garth Ennis and Oscar Jimenez. And we have Gravel, Combat Magician by Warren Ellis. And who is it? Mike Wolfer. So, um, of these three books, I probably like Gravel the most, Wormwood the second, Mercury Heat, some of the last. But I mean, this was still good. All three of them were good. So let's start with gravel. The one thing I really liked about this issue is it sh has this thing in the beginning where it shows you the history of gravel. And it started originally in a book called Strange Kiss. So Strange Kiss 1 through 3, and you can see it's November 1999 through February 2000. And they give you this listing, and they show you all the different issues that he was in. And it goes all the way through a series until he hit, you hit gravel, where he... Uh, progresses and it was the other three books in the series before this one and this is the fourth one and the last one and this basically you know just shows uh it gives us a there's a there's an ending to the story and it's kind of cool i really enjoyed it i would have liked to have seen more of gravel but i don't think we will be which is unfortunate but hey it is what it is obviously uh warren ellis has moved on then we have Wormwood. This is the second volume, and I believe the final volume in this series. I, I don't think there's any more of this. They changed artists, and they got this guy. Uh, what was it Oscar Jimenez? Actually, pretty good. There's some places where the artwork is like really good, and there's a couple places where, where I think it's a little ugly. But it's not ugly in the sense that it's poorly drawn. It's ugly in the sense that it's just an ugly thing the guy's drawing. So, you know, it's it's an ugly thing drawn well. So like that <laughs> and it's just a little bit more horrifying uh, due to the style and the color but this is a lot of fun this um uh jesus uh regains his memory and the antichrist is just moving forward with his plans and we have uh the evil pope coming back from the dead and there's all kind of crazy stuff a lot of fun it is a good book Again, uh, like I said, I got these on uh, sale from Avatar for five ninety nine. Definitely worth the price. You know, I. It's funny these books were originally priced at twenty bucks at nineteen ninety nine, and it. I'm a little torn as to whether or not they're actually worth nineteen ninety nine. I'll be honest with you, most of the books I buy, I buy at a deep discount <clears throat> from the uh, from the service that I use. Usually I'm paying anywhere from 30 to 50% off. Now, if I was paying that kind of discount on these books, 30% off, 40% off, 50% off, I would say, yeah, they're still worth the price. So you'd be paying like $14, maybe $10, $20, you know, but not, yeah, I don't think $20, any of the books are really worth 20 bucks, but that's just me, but <clears throat> fun book. I really enjoyed it. Next, we got Mercury Heat. This is by Karen Gillen. Uh, this one's interesting. It's very science. This is definitely science fiction. Uh, in this particular future world, people have chips implanted in their heads. And what they can do is, they, instead of recording your memories normally, so like instead of it going into, I guess, into your brain, it go it records on a chip. And you can literally erase that chip. So if you do something bad, you can um, shoot somebody in the face, you know, for whatever reason. And you can just say, okay, uh, delete the last two hours from my memory. So you don't remember anything that you did. So you have hold no guilt over anything. You know, if you make a bad decision, um, maybe had a one night stand you didn't enjoy, you know, you can just wipe that out from your memory and that's it. You don't have to think about it anymore. You don't have to worry about it anymore. So it's, it's interesting. <laughs> so I really enjoyed it. Uh, there's a second volume, which I haven't gotten to chance to read yet, but so we'll see. I'm definitely gonna read it. This is a, I, I enjoyed the book. Then we have something that I've been <laughs> holding on to for a few days. 
I wanted to do an unboxing, but the box got caught in the rain, and I just didn't want to keep the item in the box. But this is it. Frodo Baggins, Lord of the Rings. The reason I bring this up is um, Weta, they're releasing, I guess, a series of these. There's going to probably be like 20 or 30 of them. I like some of them. I don't like all of them. The one thing I find interesting in looking at Frodo here is that he reminds me of the old Rankin and Bass cartoons. But it looks like, if you look at the uh, the way they illustrated the um, hobbits, they have like big noses, big hands. This looks like someone took the Rankin and Bass style and drew Elijah Wood from the Lord of the Rings movies. And that's what it looks like to me. Uh, you know, finer nose, finer features, that sort of thing. So uh, let's open this up because I've yet to open it up and I've been kind of looking forward to opening it and getting up my hands on it and getting a little closer to it. And it's funny, on the back of the box, we have Gimli, um, Moria Orc, Golem, and an Urukai Berserker. Gimli, I kind of like. Golem, eh. I, I, for some reason, I do not like any of the monster figures that they're coming out with. I like the general figures. I, I, I saw um, Pippin and Mary and Samwise. I don't like any of those because they're doing things that I just don't think is very cool. Like that, I think one of them's eating, and then the other one's holding a Samwise holding a pot, and they have the other guy just doing something else that's just nonsensical. Whereas if they put them where is like where Mary and Pippin were in their armors when they were with their respective um, battles in the third movie. Like, I think uh, Mary was a knight and Pippin was part of the, the horse lords. I don't know. I always get them confused. I would like to see them, those armors, holding swords, doing something, you know, just a little bit more cool. And then with Samwise, I would like to see him where he's fighting off um, Shelob, you know, and he's holding forward the little gra glass crystal, and he has his sword in his hand. And he's looking, you know, you know, Samwise brave, that sort of thing. So I, I don't know. That's just me. Hopefully, I know they're coming out with different sculpts and things, so hopefully they'll do something a little bit cooler for those characters. And because of that, I, I no want to pick up those figures. But we have Frodo. Who I always call Bilbo. I just wanted to really get a closer look at this guy. Alright, what do we got here? Look at him. Uh -huh. Nice. I like it. I like the detailing. Okay, they got a little peg hole, so you could put them on a little peg. Yeah, I really, really dig this. I'm probably going to order some of the other ones, like Boromir and a few of the others. This is actually really nice. You don't see, like you see the little seam there. You don't see many seam lines. You can tell they worked hard to hide the lines. Like you see there's a little bit here in the ear, but not too much. I mean, that's like nitpicking. <laughs> but he looks really cool. All right, so I'll just leave it like that to see. Let's see what's this. Oh, it looks like a base. coming soon okay yeah, and I really like so I don't know if you can see that that's a golem which I think is okay Gimli I like the Mori orc I don't dig the Urukai berserker don't like him I like Gandalf the gray Aragorn I like Legolas I like I've seen Saruman I like the Saruman and I also like Galadriel didn't care for Sam I guess that's all the ones they show here. Okay, and then they have some stuff. They call mini epics. That's cool. And the guy I brought this off of, he sent me this thing, which is... What is this? Jughead? It's a Jughead plush clip. 
don't watch the show, so it's kind of interesting. Riverdale. <clears throat> I don't know if he turns into, I see a little tooth. I don't know if he's a werewolf or a vampire, but I think he's a werewolf in the show. I'm not really sure. Like I said, it's not something I watched. <sighs> so maybe I'll find a friend and give that away. All right, and then we have a base. That's really cool looking. So we get to stamp. Okay, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> funny is he stands all on his own well enough but we'll see i'll attach him on the base later so i think that's kind of cool and then i got something from kickstarter this i've been looking forward to so i know what this is at least yeah Just remember, be safe. Connected in there, really good. Whoever shipped us off really wanted to keep it safe, which is cool. It's really good. Appreciate that. Because the, you know, like most things on Kickstarter or Indiegogo, they're not cheap. So, you know, you want to get them in the best condition you can get them. And this is Mutant World, Son of Mutant World by Jan Shrenad and Richard Corbin. Let's look at this. Nice hardcover dust jacket. And they sent me some stuff. Oh, look at that. Awesome. Mutant World. Okay, we got print, a bookmark. Put that in the back of the book. Save. And we have very classic looking. Richard Corbin. Awesome stuff. An introduction by Jan Stenad. And this is, yeah, this really classic Corbin. And this will go along with the rest of my Corbin collection. I have a pretty decent size. Okay, there's some, some nudity, so be careful. But yeah, some great looking stuff. Like I said, classic Richard Corbin. I probably have a few of these in my collection, some of the original issues. So there it is. I love that. Really awesome looking. So there it is. We got Richard Corbin. We got Frodo. We got this guy. And we have a few other indie comics. So that's it for today, guys. I'll be talking to you later. If you like what you saw, hit like, subscribe. And if you want to check out some of my work, check out the Oswald Chronicles. And I also have an Indiegogo for the Oswald Chronicles. And I'll be talking to you guys later. Have a great night.